Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Wait, 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 wait. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Yes, yo girl got some sun. Hey. Alright, sorry. Sorry about that. Um <laughs> I am very, very excited. It's about some time I get some sun in me. I'm like <sighs> but yeah. Finally. All right, so, sorry. Alrighty, so um, I was at Target a little while ago, and well, you know, when in Target, you do what Target people do, and you shop for things you don't need, and um, more things you don't need, and then uh, a venti pink drink, and then um, a bagel, and then um, more things you don't need. But yeah, so I went on a shopping spree, and I ended up for some reason in the Wet n Wild section. I don't know why. I feel like I hadn't purchased Wet n Wild in so long. And they are so amazing now that I was like, oh my god. I need to shop some Wet n Wild. So I did. And obviously this came in by inspiration of this. Which obviously, I bought another one. But we're going to put that one away. Which this one. So, um, I bought, like I said, I got another one of this. I love, love this. And it, I mean, it's like four bucks. You can, uh, I could have sworn I saved the receipt. I, I was going to say prices to one of these things, but, uh, <laughs> it's wet and wild. Consider everything like under $10, <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah, so I ended up, I went in to get another one of these, of course, and along with a whole mess of other things. But well, then I ended up buying a lot of other things. Why not? I had or I bought the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is Soft Ivory. I have not tried this, so I'm hoping. Obviously, I haven't tried any of these products, so I am hoping. Oh, it's a spatula. I am hoping that I will love them. I think this is pretty close. I mean, it was the whitest, but now I got some color. Technically, it's red because um, I'm white, so I don't tan. I kind of turn into a lobster. Whatever, so I got that, and then I got really intrigued by these little sets. Um, they had bigger palettes again, very affordable, again, wet and wild. But I felt like the palettes were pretty much the exact same colors that I've either already have, already use, or have just recently bought. There were a lot of like very nude palettes, and I found like this one with like the little pink shade was something nice -er to do. So I was like, eh, why not? and we are going to follow this down to a T with because all of these this is like a full look supposedly it's the eyeshadow quad and it has a for your transition your brow bone your crease and your eyelid so we are gonna put this on and let's see how that how I feel about that I got the wet and wild mega glow conjuring palette hopefully this is a good shade for me I have again haven't tried any of these things out at all, neither before nor currently. Before this, whatever you guys get. It. Um, so I am hoping that these shades will be perfect. Stickers are like my I love them, but I hate them. It is. It is. Oops. So these are the colors. I feel like this is gonna be like a nice little bronze and you can barely see it on my way. So. But yeah, I feel like that's gonna be like a nice little bronzering. Bronzer? Bronzering. How do I get these names? All right, I'm going in with scissors. Thank God I always keep my handy dandy cricket scissors around. Is this not? Oh. Sorry, my dogs are literally right next to me, as usual. <laughs> that doesn't change. Um, I think it's so hot in here. All right, let me say. Sorry about that. I needed to handle a couple of things. Speaking of handling a couple of things. All righty, now we're ready. All righty, the next thing I got was um this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Outer. I think that's something in my eye. So yeah, now that we use our handy dandy scissors, look at how cute this is. Like I love the design. 
Okay. Doesn't smell bad either. <laughs> Sorry, that's weird. Um, then when I was in the 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 dollar spot, the dollar section, whatever, I got this and I was like, oh, how stinking cute! It's a blending sponge with a flat edge. And I was like, oh, I want to try that. And like, this is three bucks. I mean, compared to the beauty blender, three bucks. Uh huh. Cha -ching. Um. So I was like, oh, okay, I need to buy it. So I bought it. Now, if I could open it, we might have a, something to talk about in this review. Thank God I always keep these on. Oh, look at how stinking cute this is. I know why I have to smell it. Doesn't smell chemically-ish. This is really, really nice. This one is my Sephora sponge. I have no idea where any of my beauty blenders are, so we'll stick with this one. Feels roughly about the same. I'm going to run it under water and let's see how this compares. Then I got a Mega Volume Mascara Boosts Volume. All right. And obviously very black. Let's look at the bristles. Let's look how those are. I feel like it's a like, little triangle-ish one. But I'm excited. I love the color of this. It's like it's so cute. Because it's like pinky purpley ish. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Let's see how that works. I got a. Obviously, this is in no particular order. It's just pretty much how things landed in front of me when I kind of opened the bag. This is a pencil, an eye pencil, an eyeliner. Wow, I couldn't get that word out. Oh my god. All right. My mother and my child screaming outside. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Very nice. And then it has the smudger. Oops. That's the smudger on the back, which is rubbery-ish. Oh, that's no, okay. Okay, I like that. Okay. Then, I got this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil and in brown, an ash brown. Oh, it's very thick, like, compared to the Anastasia, like, you can see, like, the difference in thickness. Let's see, this one is 0 0.007 ounces. This is backwards. This one is 0 0.085 grams. This one's 0 0.2 grams. Okay. So this one might have a little bit more product. So it does have a spoolie. I don't mind the spoolie. I just, I wish it was a little bit more separated from this. Like it's just very close. I like it. And this is what it looks like. It's the triangle shape. We shall try that. And then the last thing I got was this Wet n Wild. <laughs> I really, really, really liked the name more than anything I want to say. That's the reason why I bought it. Alright, it's a little... I think it leaked. So it's sticky. I don't know if the camera will even pick that up. But I feel like it leaked. It's strange. Let's see. This color is about... And then I gotta dry it because, of course... Okay, so let's. Oh, yeah. Leaked. Because it's very oily. Ooh, but I really do love the color. And again, it's called hmm, Flirt Alert. I have a problem. Just kidding. <laughs> and it is very, very, very pretty. Let me see if I can put it. It's a very, very nice pinky. It looks way different in the bottle than it does in my hand. Ugh. Not the nicest smell in the pack, honestly. But yeah, so I got all of that. Now let's try to do something on this face with 
all of that. I am gonna go pick up my hair, wet this sponge, and I will be back. Okay, so I came back, the sponge almost like quadrupled in size, honestly, and it became very, I don't know, like, I don't know how to describe it. It feels kind of slimy. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But like when I wet either my Pure or my Sephora or even the Beauty Blender, like, it feels different. I don't know. I don't know. Again, maybe it's just me and I'm just, you know, kind of going nuts, but that's what it felt like. I'm gonna quickly do something back here. My hair is a mess. But guys, there's barely no orange whatsoever in my hair. Aren't you guys proud? Because I'm very proud. I was like, yes, no more orange. No more orange. I mean, there's still some left, of course. But, but, like I knew from the beginning, this is like a triathlon, not a race. Or, yes. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I'm gonna get my winter wild, photo focus in soft ivory. And I am, move my mirror, because obviously my mirror is, it's gonna, oh, it's very watery. Oh, 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 it smells like paint. Oh my God, I feel like I'm painting my house. Okay. <laughs> Like, it smells like paint, I promise you, no lie. Oh. Mm, okay. Maybe it's just me, guys. But it smells like paint, I promise. A nice coverage, but again, it's very, very... This is definitely something that you're gonna have to, like, build up because I do not see this as full coverage at all. Like, you can see all of my freckles coming through and this is definitely like not my shade because you know i got some color it'll be my shade in like a week but <laughs> this is definitely not my shade today tomorrow it probably will be because all the redness will be going gone away wow do i look whiter than usual <laughs> this but definitely not full coverage i don't know if you can see like you can definitely like all my freckles are still out <laughs> like you can see them all piled up right there yeah definitely definitely not full coverage but it's very nice like the light coverage that it does provide it is very very nice i don't completely and absolutely hate it would i change my Makeup HTC forever? No. But for a day that you might be just kind of running out the door, it might be nice. Pardon me. Mm. <laughs> you know, when you have those side conversations going on and you're really, 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 really clump of mascara there. There we go. A mascara. Not a clump of mascara. Um, a clump of foundation got kind of ended up in that corner. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay. It just flipping hit me. I did not buy a concealer. But it's okay. No fear. No Maybelline is here. Again, drugstore, so that's great. <laughs> But I did not buy a concealer. I could have sworn I had gotten a concealer. Maybe I left it in the car and I didn't notice. Whatever. And then I'm going to use just my Ride or Die, my Maybelline Fit Me. We, I already know I absolutely love this concealer. So if something happens to this concealer, I'm blaming it on everything else. <laughs> this concealer has spoiled me ever since the first time I used it. So... And now, I'm gonna bronze and set everything. I am just gonna go into a Luxie brush and into this yellow kind of banana powder. And I'm just gonna 
put that all over my eyes just to kind of set the concealer. I didn't want to set the concealer just because like I know this concealer does not break up on me. But since I wanted to try all the products, I was like, you know what? It only makes sense for me to set the concealer using the product as well. I feel like this side looks wider. It's just because my light, one of my lights is outside. So this side always is going to look a little bit darker than the other. Sorry. I'm going to go in with my Sigma and that bronzy shade. Oh, I like that very much. I'm just gonna open Oh, very nice. Okay. Oh, okay. That is actually really, really, really pretty. I just don't know why I kept it. <laughs> okay, moving on, shall we? Alrighty. I am going to put the highlight and then I'm going to set my face with this. Then I'm going to go in with everything else except mascara. And I'm going to set my face again. You guys know me. You know, I got to make it glow. I need to get my other Luxie brush and into that highlight. Oh, which I love. I think this highlight is so darn pretty. It's very nice, but very subtle at the same time. Like, it doesn't scream out, I'm here, I'm a highlight. Which, I love. But, this is very, very nice. Very, very subtle. Oh, there you go. I didn't get blush either. Wow, I failed. Miserably. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, okay. Love that. Let's try the brows. Cause since I you know I barely use blush anyway, so who cares about that? Sorry. Alrighty, I'm very questionable about using this. I never even bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the triangle-ish one, because I felt so comfortable using the thin that I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's see. And again, I feel like we've all been so spoiled by Anastasia products that when a new product comes and like you buy it and you start using it, you're like, oh my god, I'm so terrified of this product. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Like you need a little bit more of the product. Like I feel it's very um, very creamy, very waxy, but it does look very nice. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm not totally hating it. I actually like it very, very much. I don't think, again, it does not compare, but I like it very much. All right, so I do really like the brows, like, and they feel like, they feel almost waxy. I don't know. Maybe that's just me being weird, but they feel almost waxy. I do like it very much. <clears throat> you guys didn't see that. That didn't happen. It didn't fall. I don't know what you're about. So let's go into the eyes because I'm very excited to do the eyes. And then we're going to set the face. And then we're going to do something else. And we'll just keep moving along. Okay, so... Oh my god, how many things does this thing have? Like, I feel like it has like 1700 stickers. Because unless I'm planning, I really do not like stickers. Like, they frustrate me, they, they drive me bonkers. Especially when I'm trying to open something that I really, really want to play with. And they are in my way. Okay. Done. Hey, but you know what? Even though it is kind of shimmery. I mean, I'm really not a huge fan of shimmery blushes. 
Okay. I can deal with that. Say palettes, multi palettes. Blush. <laughs> All right, so now let's get started. I'm going to go in with this one because it says transition with a big fluffy E Sigma brush. I'm going to tap that. It's really, really, really dark for it to be the transition shade, but if it says it, then we shall do it. Wow, it is very pigmented though. Let's see where it wants me to put this. It wants me to put this everywhere. I'm not gonna put this everywhere. Oh, it's very pigmented, honestly. And again, I am putting this in that outer corner because this color is way, way too dark to bring everywhere else. I am bringing it slightly inwards, but the main amount of the product, I am leaving it on that outer corner and blending it. Oh. So I'm blending that out and I'm bringing it out since it's such a dark color, might as well use it. as kind of a wing, but I do really, really like it. <sighs> All right, I am gonna go in with a flat Sigma brush. A little large shader. All right, first one I grabbed. And I'm gonna go into the eyelid. Oh, this color is really pretty. Oh, this color is really pretty. Very pigmented, like. Oh, very, very nice. And as you can see, I am not going to blend this out. Mainly because there's that crease color that I am going to be using. So I'm going to be using that to kind of blend this pink out. Wow, this is very nice. There's some noise going on in my house. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sorry. I have no idea where that noise is coming from. I'm gonna run this to the TV. Oh my god, that color is so pretty. Oh, I like that. I like that very much. Now I'm gonna go in with a tighter brush. And I feel. If I could find it, you know, at any point of you know, my life. <laughs> I am gonna go in with. I can't find it, so I'm just gonna go in with whatever tighter brush I have. So I'm just gonna go in with the Sigma. This one is the double-ended one, 649. I'm going to use this side for that crease. I feel like, so the crease color and the eyelid color do look like they have some sort of shimmer. I don't know if maybe the camera is able to pick it up. I think it's just focusing on my face. I don't know. They look shimmery-ish to me. Let's put this all over. Not bad, honestly. I'm not gonna use too much of it because I really, really do like that pink. I love how that pink looks. But I am just putting this in my crease using windshield wiper motions from one end to one end. And then towards the end, I am going in circular motions just to blend it upwards just a little bit. And of course, I am bringing it down just to help blend that pink into it. Guys, I really, really like that pink. It's a very, very pretty pink. Now I'm just going to keep that same brush with the other end, which is a flat. And I'm just going to go into the brow bone. Oh, wow. Very pigmented. Okay. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it is very bright. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. 
I'm gonna just go into it and I'm gonna put some in my inner corner as well. So highlight in my inner corner. I promise you I had left Target and I was like, yeah, I have everything I need, full face. Missed two things. Oh, I'm telling you guys, this juggle is real. <laughs> Alrighty, now I'm gonna go in with my rose water. <laughs> the reason for all of this. Guys, I cannot describe to you how amazing this smells. Oh, it's delicious. Alrighty, so now I am gonna go in and I'm going to line up my eyes. I'm only doing the inside and not putting any color on the outside. I was like, I'm not getting any color payout from this. But we got, we got here. It is very nice. It did bother my eye just a little bit on that eye. Very nice, very creamy. Um, I wouldn't change my Marc Jacobs ones, but I mean, for the price, if you are in a hurry. It is not a bad pencil at all. And I do love the fact that it is retractable. Okay, not bad. I'm gonna go into the mascara. Mega volume, let's see how much volume it is because right now I have none. Okay, not hating it. I'm going to add a little bit on the watery side. That's not nice. I don't totally hate it. It does a very, very nice job at separating the lashes. So I love that. Again, for the price, I don't honestly hate any of these products. They're very, very nice. Let's put some on my bottom lashes. I feel like this wand is really good for bottom lashes. And the mascara itself, since it is so soft. And so good at separating lashes. This is actually a very good mascara for your bottom lashes. I absolutely love for my bottom lashes. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very happy. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more highlight. Because I feel like I like that pop. <laughs> there we go. Hi. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my lips, which is again that mega last liquid. It's called Cat Suit. It says high shine, but honestly, like the smell was throwing me off. Let me see. Let me see if maybe it was just me. So it is very pink compared to the color that's in this bottle. It is a beautiful color, absolutely stunning as far as color goes. Um, as far as smell, the smell did get a little better. Taste, tastes horrible. Smell, I can't really smell it on my lips, but I can taste it and that's kind of like, ugh. But it is very shiny. It is very nice. Honestly, I feel like the winner for me in this is this. This was absolutely amazing, easy to blend, beautiful colors, loved it. I have no complaints about the bronzer either. The highlights, just very subtle, but very nice. 
the foundation very nice not full coverage whatsoever it is very 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 light but it does cover very nicely this is obviously another winner of me but you guys you guys know this um the pencil is very nice because my eyebrows look and feel like they're not moving so i like that and this well this was yeah it's a night pencil nothing crazy about it nothing special or anything like that so i really do like like these out of everything like these are definitely like winners the other three if you're in a pinch if you need them that's perfectly fine there's other drugstore foundations that are gonna do a lot more coverage so that's questionable but it's not bad and again for the price none of these products are bad like none of them at all are bad this is a must just i keep saying that you guys need to let me know if you guys buy it because that is absolutely absolutely amazing let me know and the smell will kill you if you like rose oh the smell will kill you it's amazing because it's not too overpowering but it's not too like meh that you can barely smell it no no it's perfect <laughs> Alrighty, i feel like i've rambled on enough in this video thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in my next one don't forget to subscribe leave this video down below um let me know oh wait the mascara the mascara is actually very very good as well sorry i put it off to the side and i didn't notice and the beauty blender is also really good if you can get your hands on these i would tell you stock up because they're actually really really good put them to the side and i didn't even notice um but yeah now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy and have a great rest of your day i will catch you in the next one don't forget to subscribe leave this video a thumbs up and yeah